All right, got a unit short cycling. So they had a company come by last night. This is a customer of mine. They own a, uh, a mechanic shop. I used to do work there for them. They called me last night. They got to have a tenant stand here. So I couldn't get to them last night. I told them I'd come first thing in the morning. So they couldn't wait. So I think they called one hour AC. And uh, they came and put six pounds of 14A in here. But it leaked out already. As you can see, the low pressure switch opening up at about 58. So I'm going to turn the unit off and do a leak search on it. Don't really see any residue out here. So I'm gonna go down, go and get my uh, get the leak detector and go in the attic, see what's going on. All right. So it shouldn't be too difficult. See ice right there. Should be easy enough access. Crazy up here. I hear it though. Look. So that leak down here in this corner, man, I know you can hear. Right on that bottom down, man. All right, 
So that car gonna have to be replaced. All right, I'm out. I'm gonna uh, take some pictures. The homeowner's on vacation, so I'm gonna contact Goodman and see if, if they got one in stock. I'll come out and change it today. All right. All right, so this is a couple hours later. I got the evap core in my truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and start changing this one now. Cut the PVC lines first. So the same space on this uh, memory card, I'm going to cut it and slide this coil out. Because it's probably going to take me a minute trying to figure out how I'm gonna, I might better get to it with these. I use my pookie buster to cut around there. All right. All right. So I tried getting this off with this regular bit. But it just spins. So I'm going to go with the pookie buster. Let's see if it'll... Get it out of there with no problem. We might have to move that gas line too. Yep, no problem. Supposed to have a cold front come in this week. Not today, I think. Alright. So that bracket back there had two screws, a quarter inch on the bottom and a 5/16. I'm still see if I can slide it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a slide out, but I gotta take that gas line off. I got my pipe wrench up here. Yeah. Just missed it. Let's see if I can slide it out. Hey, it's back down to get the vibrator coil I get my pipe wrench and just take it out so that other one will just slide right in there but I'm literally up like four slight uh four flights of stairs when the three three-story condominium so I ain't want to walk all the way back down there but uh actually I might be just twist it on out the way now yeah
good. Got slid in there pretty easy. We got it right between the tracks on both sides. So now I just go down and get the new panel. I'm not gonna put the old one on here. Get the new panel. Besides, I bent this and then away the old one on the bottom. So I get my new panel. Get ready to sweat it in. I used to go to the supply house and I used to ask like little small business owners and contractors. I'd be like, man, how you get your customers? I mean, one guy telling me he don't do any advertising, just straight word of mouth. He said he don't even hand out business cards anymore. He stay busy. And, and that's before I, uh, that's before, that was like two, about two years ago. Maybe when I first got my contract license, when I was just doing a side job, I was like, man, there's no way. But uh, the grind and then the hustle that I've been putting in for the, like the last two years, I got a lot of word of mouth. This person tell that person, that person tell that person. Like I say, even if it's, if it's one of the company, you do a good job for them, they gonna tell a friend. That friend gonna tell a friend, that friend gonna tell a friend. So even when you, you think, and it's saying like, I never get caught up as far as work goes, especially me working my own. Sometimes I, uh, as soon as I think things about to slow down, I get slammed with, you know, two or three more cars. And uh, when you work for yourself and then you're getting all the profit to yourself, you don't necessarily have to get a, get a, uh, a new call every day. I'm gonna put a run down and uh, go get my torches torch set up. You ain't necessarily got to get a new call every day. Like this is a rarity where I find a leak and replace the evaporator coil the same day. I used to go out there and diagnose it. And if it's a compressor or a change job, I used to schedule them. You know, uh, another day. But this one here, I can go ahead and knock it out. I got more jobs. I got a condenser unit to change out early next week. I got a, uh, a, a you about to change out, I think Monday or Tuesday. So, like I said, if anybody on the brink, like I said, I ain't saying just quit your job. But uh, get your name out there, do You have to do a little side work. And uh, eventually, eventually you'll get it though. Fuse for a minute. I, I don't remember. I don't remember turning that fan off. Thought I maybe nick that wire, but the disconnect was off. Take them some skills, anybody can do it. Oh, I say an H back though, you gotta go through that little learning curve and you gotta put the time in, you know, before you get the license. But you know, start off as a technician and uh man, work for yourself. I love it. A lot of people say, man, I wish I would have did this years ago. I can't say that though. 
like I say, we got to go through a learning curve. You got to hope, hope a company invest in you, uh, at least invest in yourself and learn as much as you can. And uh, so you'll be able to get out here on your own. Let's see what we got here. Say when you work for yourself, you ain't gotta work no eight hours a day. You can you can shut it down when you want to. Like I say, you want to charge accordingly, so you don't have to be running a bunch of cars. At least make, let it make sense to you. Or oh, the profit. What are they gonna take you to run your business? Wish they would have had the equalizer back a little more, but we'll make sure we don't uh, create a leak right there. Let's see if I can clean it up a little bit more. Comment, ask me what size rosebud tip I use. This is a uh, number 15. But I'm gonna use a zero tip. This is a zero I'm fit to use. Fire things. Here you go, right here. I 
but uh safety is first make sure that gas line off while i'm talking since i'm so close to it i don't even mind taking a puff i ain't gonna put it Trust me, I wasn't inhaling. I was just trying to make sure we good. But a fire extinguisher, man. Because I have had these things, uh, a little oil still left in, in there, and it'll blaze out on you. More on, on a commercial job, but I have it done. It done me like that on residential also. But, uh, man. I think I, I think I witnessed somebody did a fire extinguisher one time. But, but imagine you, you putting a fire extinguisher in here, man, all that stuff going to... Get in your line set, cause you gotta, you're gonna have to uh, spray it towards that line set. I hate, be, I hate talking about fire while I'm up here though. Especially with that gas line up. But anyway, yeah, that'll be, that won't be good if you gotta use it. Well, we Bottom. All right, I'm gonna let that cool down, put the TXV on there. Real leak search. All right, so I just did a nitrogen test on it and uh, at 300 PSI. And it held for about 10 minutes, so we should be good. Now I'm pulling the vacuum on it. I think all I got left is the drain line up here. This is secondary on this side.
I'm gonna go down and get the original screws that came out the new, I left it in the truck. They came out the new panel. There we go. Good to be heating season. I gotta get my gas pipe game back on. Hopefully that's all I gotta take off. gas on come back with the soap bubbles make sure we don't have any leaks here should be good I got it good and tight Be good there. Yeah. All right. So uh that's it up here. You gotta get some screws. Two, 
three more screws. And then, uh, I really don't need that bracket. I'm not gonna put those, uh, this bracket back on here. Need three self tappers. I don't think it's necessary. Just put me some tape, tape on this side. We don't even need any tape up here. It's good and sealed. So I did go get me two more screws, tape that, charge it up. All right. All right. I know one thing. I gotta hurry up. Get that cold front is not playing. It's coming fast. So I was in the attic, just make sure everything good. And I just heard a boom. Thought my compressor blew up or something down here. But it was a garbage can or something that flew, flew on the side of the field. This thing low. Yeah, I feel the cool air. It done, it done drop about 20 degrees quick. Really need a hard hat on out here. Another 10 foot in the attic. Like I say, since it's, I don't know if rain coming with this or not, but uh, I'm just gonna do a rule of thumb, uh, 10 degree sub cooling. Like I say, I know this guy, if I gotta come back and top the charge off next week or something, I will. started out it was, it was down to like 60 psi so we getting close all right so i'm gonna chill out and just let that run i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this wrap this up i'm gonna take some temperature uh split across my evaporator coil and uh i would even hook up the measure quick but i think we're good to go i got seven point about seven degrees sub cooling right now. Like I say, I want to get that up to about 10, about 85 degrees in the house. So. All right, he's back, people.